hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel and in this topic also and now guys this is one of the very exciting and very interesting uh, concept of act i mean is that one not for examination which is active directory so this is the first video i'm going to record uh, in this topic which is active directory and uh, we are going to discuss about the benefits and features of the active directory basically azure active directory it is not active directory domain service okay uh, because uh, we are going to prepare for a set uh, one not for examination so uh, uh, we are going to uh, we are going into deep of a z active directory azure active directory okay azure active directory so in my coming up videos you will see in detail in length about each and every uh, aspects or uh, i should say concept or uh, branches of this active directory azure ad basically so guys uh, be with the channel and uh, try to make notes one second i will tell you to make notes note down things from slides okay and uh, let's see let me begin this one so guys you know uh, let me take a highlighter azure active directory you can say azure ad is microsoft multi-tenant cloud based uh, cloud based directory first of all okay if someone is asking you what is active directory azure active directory uh, you should uh, focus on full sentence and the full sentence is Azure Active Directory. Okay, Azure AD. It is a multi-tenant cloud-based directory and identity management service. So basically, Azure AD is a service which is developed or uh, available for the identity management. Okay, and it is a multi-tenant multi cloud-based directory. Apart from this, Azure AD helps to support user access to resources and applications such as, let's see, internal resources and apps located on your corporate network. Apart from this, external resources like Microsoft 365 and Azure Portal and SaaS applications. Okay, these are the applications or resources. Uh, which is required uh, to access uh, by the users okay and uh, let's see the next one cloud apps developed for your organization apart from this let's little uh, let's talk little more azure active directory pi uh, it, it is a part of microsoft infra and is an enterprise identity service that provide single sign-on multi-factor authentication and conditional access to guard against 99.9% uh, .9 of cyber security attacks so it is having multiple services multiple role and uh, uses as per the business requirement okay so you can see multi-factor authentication conditional access okay and it has 99.9% .9 security attack surety like there will not be any attack okay and it also provides single sign on you just need one username and password to access multiple applications of the organization and it is done by it is done by uh, azure active directory okay and uh, azure active directory is a cloud based identity and access management service this service helps your employees access external resources such as Microsoft 365, the Azure portal, and thousands of other SaaS applications. Apart from this, Azure Active Directory also helps them access internal resources like apps on your corporate internal uh, in, intranet network, along with any cloud apps developed for your own organization the following diagram shows uh, an example implementation of azure ad in this scenario 
Windows Server AD is using Kerberos and NTLM authentication to on-premises applications. Let me show you one diagram here. So you can see two uh, colors, okay? And uh, now you can see like uh, I have made two specific name here. I will take highlighter. You can see this one is Windows Active Directory, Windows Server Active Directory. Okay, this part dark blue and this part is Azure Active Directory. So you can see icon of Windows operating system and this is your Azure Active Directory icon. Okay, this uh, this one. Now let's see little more. This is your on-premises infrastructure, local. Okay, here you have deployed one physical server and installed operating system windows server whatever you want and you have uh, deployed active directory or uh, domain services locally and this side let's see this is cloud based okay azure active directory so this is cloud this is local this one is local and this one is cloud and here you have azure apps office 365 and other Azure resources, database and kind of things. Very simple. Now let's see a little more. For authentication, Windows Server Active Directory, which is your on-premises, will use, uh, you can see here, I will take highlighter, Another, I will, I'm changing color. You can see for authentication, they are, uh, uh, they are using Kerberos and NTLM, okay? This part, this one and if we talk about uh, azure active directory what is the mechanism which is used for authentication they are using saml or auth open id ws federation for authentication okay guys so they are using four uh, separate uh, uh, like uh, i should say mechanism for authentication or uh, if we talk about uh, local which is windows server active directory it is using kerberos ntlm for authentication and apart from this you can see like users and groups authentication plus authorization it is for both okay uh, for users authentication they are using this one for user authentication or group group authentication they are using this thing okay whether it is authentication or authorization so they are using these mechanism and Azure Cloud is using these mechanisms. Now, things to know about Azure AD features. You should be very familiar with this. Okay, and you should know. So guys, let's examine some of the prominent features of Azure AD. The very first one you can see Azure AD, we are talking about Azure AD, Azure Active Directory and uh, feature, this is description in detail, single sign on, the very first one, single sign on access, so guys, Azure AD provides secure single sign on to web apps on the cloud and to on-premises apps, to on, on-premises apps, okay user can sign in with the same set of credentials to access all their apps that is why it is called single sign on access now the next one uh ub q device support okay so azure active directory works with ios mac os android and windows devices and offer a common experience across the devices user can launch apps from a personalized web based access panel mobile apps microsoft 365 or custom company portals by using their existing work credentials okay guys so it is not limited to only one platform particular platform or particular device next one secure remote access azure active directory Azure AD enables secure remote access for on-premises web apps. Secure access can include multi-factor authentication, conditional access policies, and group-based access management. Here, users can access on-premises web apps from anywhere, including from 
same portal that is why it is called secure remote access okay guys we have seen three features now we'll see a little more the next feature is cloud extensibility so azure active directory can extend to the cloud to help you manage a consistent set of users groups passwords and devices across environment that is why it is called extensibility or cloud extensibility okay guys the next feature is sensitive data protection azure active directory offers unique identity protection capabilities to secure your sensitive data and apps admins can monitor for suspicious sign in activity and potential vulnerabilities in a consolidated view of users and resources in the directory so we have seen five features till now uh, we'll talk about little more features so guys the next feature is self-service support azure ad lets you delegate tasks to company employees that might otherwise be uh, completed by admins with higher access privileges and providing self-service apps access and password management through verification steps can reduce eldest calls and enhance security so you can uh, uh, reset your password by yourself okay so it will reduce workload on help desk ticketing and callings okay the next feature uh like uh, things to consider when you uh, when when using azure ad features okay there are certain considerations you need to uh, take care at the time of using uh, azure ad features let's see about all those things because azure ad offers many features and benefits consider which feature can be used to best support your corporate scenario the situation is very simple it is totally depend on your requirement your business requirement your corporate requirement okay so according to that you can use that particular feature or benefit okay so the very first one is consider enabling single sign-on access you have to uh, think you have to plan you have to see the requirement then only you can enable single sign-on if not required then why you should uh, enable it so enable single sign-on access for your users to connect to the cloud or use on-premises apps if it is required then definitely you should enable it okay so enabling single sign on is the first consideration when you are using uh, azure active directory because it will reduce your work only if someone is not able to reset his password or her password they will send you requests but if you enable single sign on uh, for i mean if, if single sign on is enabled then they will be able to access which is required for them to work okay and uh, if you give if, if you give them 10 10 password for 10 particular applications so in that condition they might miss or uh, like they, they, they may create some mess up kind of thing so to avoid this enable uh, single sign on uh, if possible okay and uh, azure ad Single sign-on supports Microsoft 365 and thousands of SaaS apps such as Salesforce, Workday, and uh, DocuSign, ServiceNow, and Box. Okay, guys. So the first consideration is enabling single sign-on, and the next one is consider UX experience and device support. So in this, build a consistent user experience that works for all devices and directory access points next consideration is i'll uh, uh, we'll talk about little more in this only so you can design custom company portals and personalized web based access uh, for your employees that let them connect with their existing work credentials so it is very simple you can create your com own company portal okay and uh, the next consideration is consider benefits of secure remote access so guys 
Protect your on-premises web apps by implementing secure remote access with multi-factor authentication and access policies. So apply uh, as much as policies you can for uh, you can uh, for you know implementing secure remote access as per your team organization's policy and also enable multi-factor authentication. Okay. The next one is consider advantages of cloud extensibility. What does it mean? So connect Active Directory and other on-premises directories in the cloud to Azure AD in just few steps. You can make it easier for your admins to manage the same users, groups, passwords and devices across all supported environments. That is why it is one of the uh, consideration of Azure AD when you are using it. Consider advanced protection for sensitive data. So what to do for this sensitive data? You should make some plans. So guys, enhance the security of your sensitive data and apps by using the uh, built-in protection feature of Azure AD. Uh, your admin can utilize advanced secu security reports, notifications and remediations recommendation, remediation recommendations and risk-based policies. So all uh, these things are built-in protection feature of Active Directory, Azure Active Directory. Apart from this, the next consideration is reduced cost self-service option take advantage of azure ad self-service feature to help reduce cost for your organizations very simple if users are able to reset their password by themselves you do not need to hire help desk team okay so it will save your cost your company cost your organization cost so you can delegate certain tasks like resetting password or creating and managing groups to your non-admin users also. Okay, that is possible. So guys, I am done with this. The very first video in Active Directory. Okay, in next video, we will see the next part. And before going further, I would request you to please do whatever you can do from this screen. And in next video we are going to discuss we are going to learn about describe azure active directory concepts so there are lots of concepts you should know like identity accounts what 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 does it mean actually so be ready for that make a note i will meet you in next video till then bye bye